एंड मिसेस मीनाज शरीफ शिकलगर फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग के आई कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कोल्हापुर आई बी डीलिंग विद द कोर्स आर एफ एंड माइक्रोवेव इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम दिस कोर्स आई एल डिस्कस द फर्स्ट यूनिट विच इज माइक्रोवेव सॉलिड स्टेट डिवाइसेस द फर्स्ट लेसन विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज अबाउट द टनल डायोड सो द ब्रॉडर ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस कोर्स आर this course aims to make students aware of fundamentals of microwave engineering in order to reach the desired industry skill sets introduce the students about various microwave devices amplifiers and oscillators to know their applications in various domains introduce different microwave junctions and use them to measure some parameters aware students about different types of microwave hazards to study manufacturing technique of monolithic microwave integrated circuits which is called as mmic so the objective of today's lesson is learners will be able to learn different aspects of tunnel diode such as what is the tunneling process the working principle of tunnel diode and vi characteristic of tunnel diodes so before going to discuss about tunnel diode we'll discuss a little bit about the pn junction diode uh, this is uh, the uh, we all know about the pn junction diode this is the circuit symbol of pn junction diode which is a two terminal device which has one terminal is named as anode another terminal is named as cathode so we'll uh, discuss about the tunnel diode this tunnel diode is introduced by leo isaki in 1958 the circuit symbol of tunnel diode if you look at the circuit symbol of the tunnel diode it is again a two terminal device which one terminal of it is called as anode and another terminal is called as cathode so what is the difference between pn junction and tunnel diode the most important uh, if you, if you, if we compare both of these uh, symbols we can see at the tunnel uh, at the cathode there is uh, a difference in the symbols so the tunnel diode the most important difference is a tunnel diode is heavily doped pn junction diode and in tunnel diode electric current is caused by tunneling process so first of all we'll discuss about the depletion region for normal pn junction diode if the applied voltage is greater than built in voltage then only current will start to flow so this is the forward bias pn junction diode the p type material these are the p type and n type pn junction diode which forms a depletion layer when the built in voltage is greater than uh, the applied uh, applied voltage when the applied voltage is greater than built in voltage in that case the electrons from n type uh, material will move towards p type material uh, and this is how current will start to flow so this is the ordinary pn junction diode where these are the valence bands and collins uh, conduction band where this is the valence band and conduction band of p type material similarly the valence band and conduction band of e uh, n type material where in conduction band of n type material as the free electrons are there if we apply uh, Uh, voltage which is greater than built in voltage these electrons if you observe this arrow this will cross this barrier and move towards p type material in this diagram also we can observe how the electrons are moving toward by crossing this barrier towards p type material and this is how current will start flow now take a minute i'll pause the video take a minute and think about what is a quantum mechanism classically we know carrier must have energy at least equal to potential barrier height to cross the junction but according to quantum mechanism there is finite probability that it can penetrate through the barrier for thin width if the thin if the width of the barrier is very thin that there is the probability that electrons can penetrate through this barrier and this phenomenon is called as tunneling and this phenomena is used in the tunnel diode
So, if you observe this tunnel diode, for this tunnel diode, the conduction band of n type material because of the heavily doping conduction band of uh, n type material and valence band of V type uh, P type material, both of these will overlap. Okay? So, we will discuss the working of tunnel diode in few steps. The first step is when the tunnel diode is unbiased, that means there is no applied voltage, zero applied voltage. In that case, because of uh, the overlapping between the conduction band of n type material and valence band of p type material, what will happen? Some electrons will try to cross this barrier, okay? but it is not sufficient. and therefore there will not be any current current flow next step is the when the small voltage is applied to the tunnel tunnel diode the applied voltage is very small it is less than the built in voltage okay in that case what will happen the electrons from the n type material it will cross the barrier because of what because of the overlapping between the conduction band of n type material and valence band of p type material the electrons if we apply a small voltage the electrons from n type material will move towards the valence band or the to, to, of the p type material and this will cause a small cur tunnel current we can observe in this uh, graph a small tunnel current will flow now if we further increase the voltage applied voltage in that case the electrons more number of electrons will move towards the valence band of the p type material and here we'll get maximum tunnel current if again this applied voltage is further increased in that case the energy level of conduction band of n type material and valence band of p type material are a different and in that case the tunnel current will start decreasing. Now applied voltage is largely increased, it is uh, largely increased in that case the conduction band of n type material and valence band of v type material, p type material the overlapping between these two will not be furthermore and in that case it will act as a normal p n junction diode or ordinary p-n junction diode. Here tunnel current is zero, but the forward bias current will be will increase as we go on increasing the applied voltage. So this is the VI characteristic of tunnel diode where initially the will get a tunnel current for the uh, voltage which is less than built in voltage. Okay, this tunnel current will increase up to the peak point and after that tunnel current will start to decrease okay at valley after valley point our diode will act as ordinary p n junction diode and will get a forward bias current okay here from peak point to valley point whatever uh, property we can observe it is the negative resistance property that means as we are increasing voltage current will decrease i hope you all have understood this tunnel diode concept concept in the next lesson, we will be discuss about gun diode, the construction and working principle of gun diode, what is the two value model concept and VI characteristic of gun diode. Thank you.